In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying some expressions with the exponent rules or exponent laws. And uh, we've got several examples here. The first one, we're given that we have 3 to the fourth multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. Now, the exponent rule that would be applied here is we're multiplying two powers with the same base. So the base in the rule here is a, just like the base here is 3. And what you do to simplify that to one single power instead of two multiplied is you write it as the uh, a power of the same base. So these are both a's, so this would be a, and you add the two exponents. So 3 to the 4th times 3 to the 6 would be 3 to the, and we add the exponents, the 4 and the 6, and so you get 10. That would be 3 to the 10th. Now, it's it's not an uncommon misconception here to think to multiply the bases and think of it as it's 9, 3 times 3 is 9 to the power of something. And the reason that that's incorrect is because 3 to the power of 4 means 4 3's multiplied, and 3 to the power of 6 means 6 3's multiplied. So notice that it's there's 4 of them here, there's 6 of them there, so all together there's 10 3's that are multiplied. If you wrote this as 9 to the power of 10, for example, that would mean that it's 10 9's multiplied, not 10 3's. So the, the base has to say the same, because the base is, that's what's being multiplied here, a whole bunch of 3's, so it's, the answer has to be 3 to the power of something. Now, 3 to the power of 10 is a pretty big number, so we would probably leave the answer just like this unless you were told specifically to change that to a, a number rather than just write as a power. The second one is 11 to the 5th divided by 11 to the power of 3. And the rule that we would be implying here, the exponent rule, is uh, when we're dividing powers with the same base, you subtract the exponent. So a to the x divided by a to the y is a to the power of x minus y. The common uh, base here is 11, so we would evaluate this as it's 11 to the power of 5 minus 3, which of course is 2. Now 11 squared isn't that big a number, so we could easily write that as 121. Now the reason that it's written as 11 to the power of 2, and uh, um, another common misconception here is that we would divide the bases, 11 divided by 11 is 1, so we're a power of 1, which, which actually is incorrect. 11 to the 5th means that there's 5 11s multiplied in the numerator at the top. 11 cubed means there's, there's 3 11s multiplied in the denominator. And when we're subtracting exponents, what we're really doing is dividing out uh, 11 times 11 times 11, or 11 cubed. And so, you see, when you do that, what you're left with is 2 11s multiplied, which is what 11 squared means, and that's why the answer is 121. For c, uh, 5 squared raised to the power of 4, the, uh, this is often called the power exponent rule, uh, or power of a power, sorry. If you have a to the power of x, and then the whole thing is raised to the power of y, you multiply the exponents to write as one single uh, power with a just a single exponent in it. So it's a to the power of xy. xy means x times y. So what we would do here is uh, 5 squared to the power of 4, we would evaluate it as 5 to the power of 2 times 4, multiplying the two exponents, which of course is 5 to the power of 8. Now, 5 to the power of 8 is a fairly big number. It's 390,625. So if you're asked to change it to a, a number, answer you, that's what it would be. Now, the reason that you multiply the exponents is because 5 squared raised to the power of 4 means that there's four of these 5 squareds. 5 squared times another one, 2, 3, and that's the fourth one there. And so all together, see, this means two 5s multiplied, and another 2, and another 2, and another 2. 2 and 2 is 4, and 2 more is 6, and 2 more is 8. So that's why you multiply them, because there are four 2s here, which means there are 8 altogether of these 5s multiplied. Flipping over to the second page, in example D, we're, we're given 4 to the power of negative 2. In fact, these next two uh, examples both have to do with negative exponents. And the rule is this, uh, if you, and this is what a negative exponent means. It means a reciprocal. Reciprocal means to um, take the number and sort of flip it upside down. The numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator becomes the numerator. Uh, if, so a to the power of negative x, a is the same as a over 1, so the denominator is 1. So we flip it upside down, and a to the negative x means 1 over a to the x. Well, 1 over something is, is called a reciprocal. So notice that when I move the power into the denominator, the exponent changes sign. So that's how you evaluate a negative exponent. 
uh, it's the reciprocal or one over the positive power basically or the opposite sine power I should I should say probably so 4 to the negative 2 would equal 1 over 4 squared notice when I write the power of 4 here it has a positive exponent or the opposite sine exponent in the denominator and 4 squared is 16 so we write this as 1 over 16 for e now um, I'm going to show you how to do E using this, and actually, after we get there, there is a shortcut. I want to show you that that rule still works, uh, but there is a shorter, quicker way to do the 3 quarters to the power of negative 3. So, this means the reciprocal, so it will be 1 over 3 quarters raised to the power of positive 3. Now, what we want to do now is uh, cube the 3 quarters. So 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And 4 cubed is 64. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Well, the way you divide fractions is you take the uh, numerator, which is the 1, or 1 over 1, and multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator, which it would be 64 on top, 27 on the bottom. Now, 1 times 64 is 64 on top, and 1 times 27 is 27 in the denominator. So that would equal 64 over 27. So, and that is correct. That is equal to 64 27 Now, remember I said over here that the negative exponent means the reciprocal. So here's a little quicker way to do this rather than these whole steps, but half the uh, length actually. If you have 3 fourths to the negative 3, then in order, instead of writing as 1 over, take the reciprocal of the 3 quarters and write it as 4 thirds. And so there's the reciprocal part, and so 3 quarters to the negative 3 is the same as the reciprocal to the power of positive 3. Okay? So this taking the reciprocal is the same as doing this 1 over thing. And so once you do that, all you have to do now is evaluate 4 cubed over 3 cubed. 4 cubed is 64, and 3 cubed is 27, and so notice we get exactly the same answer. So if you have a uh, a, f a rational number or a fraction to a neg exponent, negative exponent, take the reciprocal of the fraction and then the, the power here uh, changes sign, it becomes positive and you just, it's a matter of the power of the uh, numerator over the power of the denominator. Okay, next example, f here, 9 to the power of 0. Uh, the rule is that uh, anything to the power of 0 equals 1 with the exception that you can't have the base being 0. 0 to the power of 0 is not equal to 1. Okay, that's the only exception. Any other number, a, it doesn't matter whether it's 9 or 10 billion and 2, raise to the power of 0 is still equal to 1. So that would equal 1 automatically. Now, here's an explanation of why that equals 1 or an example. Not a proof, just an example. Let's evaluate 4 cubed over 4 cubed two different ways. And I could have done 9 cubed if I wanted to. I've just chosen to use 4. Now, one way we're going to evaluate this is using the, the uh, exponent law from the previous page that says that if you're dividing powers of the same base, you subtract the exponent. So this 3 minus this 3 would be 0. And so that gives you 4 to the power of 0. Another way to evaluate this, instead of using the uh, exponent rule, is to uh, evaluate each of the numerator and the denominator. Uh, 4 cubed is 64. Remember, we just did 4 cubed over here. 4 cubed was 64. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, and same in the denominator. Now, 64 divided by 64 equals 1. So we've evaluated the same thing two different ways, and so uh, that the logical conclusion is that 4 to the power of 0 would equal 1. And so that's an example of why something to the power of 0 equals 1. A again, the exception is that you can't uh, have the base being 0. Okay, it, it's, it, it doesn't work out to be defined. But any other number to the power of 0 always equals 1. For uh, g here now, we have 8 to the 4 thirds. And the exponent rule is that a to the power of the uh, rational number x over y is equal to, and the denominator in that fraction means the root, so it's the yth root of a to the power of x. So the uh, numerator, the top part, means the power. So the numerator means the power, the d bottom of the fraction, or the uh, denominator means the root. So if I'm evaluating 8 to the 4 thirds, that means the cube root of 8 raised to the power of 4. Now, there's two ways to write this. You can write the power in here or outside of the root. It really doesn't matter. 
The most useful way to do this usually is to write the power outside because usually this works out to be a reasonably small number and then we evaluate to the power of whatever that, well the 4 in this case. Now what we want to do here is you want to take your scientific calculator if you don't, don't know what the cube root of 8 is and evaluate the cube root of 8 and it's 2. So this is equal to 2 that, and then the reason that equals 2 is because 2 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Another way to evaluate that is we could punch in 8 to the power of 1 third. The power of 1 third and the cube root mean the same thing. So there's two different ways to evaluate the cube root of 8. So this is 2 and we have 2 raised to the power of 4 which of course uh, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. This is a long way to do it. 2 times 2 times 2, 4, 2 is multiplied but it's still equals 16. So that is equal to 16. So that's 8 to the power of 4 thirds equals 16. For h here, we're evaluating 27 over 64 to the power of negative 5 thirds. Well, very similar to what we did in the last page, the negative exponent means the reciprocal. So flip that 27 over 64 upside down, and the, uh, the power becomes positive. It would be positive 5 thirds. And so now what we're doing is we're taking the cube root of this fraction and then raising it to the power of 5. So we need the cube root of 64 and the cube root of 27. So the cube root of 64 is 4 because 4 cubed is 64 and the cube root of 27 is 3 because 3 raised to the power of 3 equals 27. So that's 4 on top and, f and 3 on the bottom. So we have 4 thirds to the fifth so now we need to evaluate 4 to the fifth and 3 to the fifth. Well 4 raised to the power of 5 is, is 1024 and 3 raised to the power of 5 is 243. So the final answer here would be we would have uh, 1024 over 243. And that's the end of the video.